seeing your slides. One moment. So Michael is the founder and president of Prosperita Real Estate Investment, which has been established since 2002, specializing in successfully investing in both commercial and residential throughout Canada. They manage a portfolio of over 175 units property worth in excess of $2 million throughout market centers in um, Canada. Let me just meet here a few people. One moment. Sorry. So Michael has been a very successful investor throughout Canada and has received multiple awards, um, many top awards from the real estate investment network, as well as the Canadian Real Estate Wealth Magazine, been recognized continuously for the success he has. He's an avid pub public speaker, educator, and also has a very strong real estate investing coaching business. So if you want to learn more about that, reach out to him afterwards. When Michael is not managing his real estate portfolio, he's focusing his uh, time with his family. And that's really the reason he got into real estate investing. Um, so welcome, Michael. And I'm going to try and keep uh, keep uh, slides on pace to your presentation. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, uh, Roland and, and everybody here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I got a great lineup of guest speakers all over the um, in this forum here. So eight minutes is really short. So I'm going to go relatively quickly. Um, so for those of you that may have seen me before with Savvy Investor, this is actually my company called Prosperity Real Estate Investments. Um, so I'll just talk a little bit about that in a second. But the reality is, well, maybe I could just switch the slide if you don't mind, please, for me. Or can I do that on my own accord? No. Okay, perfect. So the reality is we're living in kind of extreme times right now. And there's just so much uncertainty, lots of negativity in the media. The news is just full of all this information. And it's actually impacting a lot of people's lives. You know, we've got kids that are not necessarily going to school. It's impacting our seniors, our parents. And we're seeing situations that in some cases we haven't seen since 2008. So very, very challenging times that we've all kind of started to uncover specifically with coronavirus. And for a lot of people, this may have been a significant eye-opening experience for a lot of people, uh, especially when people are like, maybe have lost an income or gotten themselves in a financial position. People have lost their jobs. People's businesses have started to go under just because of everything that's kind of going on. But this is maybe one of the reasons why you're attending today is because you're looking at this and you're like, holy smokes, this is a huge issue. And so with that being said, we can either look at this as a significant crisis or we can look at this as an actual opportunity as our good friend Warren Buffett has referenced, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when other, when, uh, and greedy when others are fearful. And so for us, this is the, one of the reasons why we wanted to highlight a little bit about um, what we do here today. So for myself, Roland's really referenced a little bit about our company and what we started. I started back in 2001, uh, founded the company called Prosperity Real Estate Investments. And I saw real estate as a huge opportunity to generate generational wealth, create more income for myself, and more importantly, really provide a legacy for my family. I've been very, very fortunate to build this portfolio, to get involved in real estate, and we've also, like I've referenced early with Roland, maybe Roland can just switch the slide, been very fortunate to get a lot of accolades behind it here. And this isn't in a point of really about tooting my own horn or any of those things. I've just been very fortunate that real estate's been able to do this. And for those of you that are getting started and not necessarily know where to begin, I'm assuming that's where people like yourself are kind of joining in in a session like this to learn from other people. And you've got some fantastic speakers lined up uh, to talk a little bit about their experience and knowledge and some of the opportunities that they're looking at. Um, so for myself, I'm just going to share a little bit about a project that we've actually completed. So this is not available, but just to kind of give you a guideline of the types of projects that we like to look at. So for us, this is a property that we closed on November 1st, 2020. And this is a 12-unit apartment building that we locked up in Edmonton, okay? The suite mix was fantastic. It's an eight by two bedroom suite apartment building with four single bedrooms. Uh, the purchase price was $1.8 million, came appraised at 1.15. So the equity from day one, and these are the types of projects that I like to look is there's gotta be some meat on the bone, some equity from the very beginning was about $70,000. Um, so the way we do this is we have investment shares or investment modules that we offer to potential investors. And that investment module is about $74,000. The profit from day one per share is about $8,000, but the cash flow on this property is about $345 
per share. And that was based on current reality. And that's the one thing that we spend a lot of time focusing on is what's the current snapshot and more importantly, what's the opportunity in the horizon. But whenever we budget or present to our potential clients or partners, it's always based on current reality. So the, be the benefit about this particular project here is the rents were actually significantly lower than what we, but uh, significantly lower than what the market is. So we were seeing an extra 75 to hundred dollars more a month that is available over and above the additional performa projections. Yeah. yeah so hold on one second. Okay. I think I'm back on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs Good. Up. Thanks guys. Um, secondly, so that was a huge opportunity. One of the reasons why we really like this project is there's much more cash flow in this deal and a better way and a better opportunity to increase the valuation of the property. Secondly, because of COVID and one of the most fortunate pieces about COVID is we were able to take advantage of some extremely low interest rates. We budgeted at three and a quarter, but we actually got it locked in at 1.7% five-year fixed rate amortized over 35 years. So this is a great project that generated cash flow, had equity from day one, and it was a, just an absolute home run. And this is one, these are the types of projects that we love paying attention to. It's not about volume and the amount of projects we focus on. We focus on the right deals. And, and those are the ones that we want to put some attention to. So this deal is not available. That one is closed. It's done. So why am I even presenting that today? Because honestly, I never actually present deals to forums like this, an actual deal. And the reason for this is one of the important pieces when you're working with our company is to making sure that there's compatibility and that your guys have common goals to what we have. And even more importantly, is whatever your objectives are in regards to your investment goals is something that we're able to achieve. So we always try to kind of focus on more of a consultation approach first to understand some of the goals and objectives. Then at that point in time, share our investment strategy to see if it's a right fit. And we always start with that first. So Roland, if I could just get you to go back one more time. Um, if you like something that looks like this, we've been very fortunate that I unfortunately didn't have the information in front of me to present today, but we did secure a property yesterday that has a very similar image to what you're looking at today in New Brunswick that we just have under contract. So if this is something that is of an interest to you, you are maybe looking at cash flow, you're looking for some equity, maybe you want to get involved in more something into a multifamily, then at that point in time, I would recommend that we set up a, a consultation, get an opportunity to review some of the objectives that you have focused for yourself, some of your goals, ensure that it's compatibility. I always treat our partnerships almost like a marriage because at the end of the day, we're working very closely together and that's how we put a lot of attention. So get you to flip on the next slide, please, Roland. So again, it really is about compatibility, staying focused and understanding your goals, making sure that there's the right fit. So if you feel that you wanna maybe explore a little bit more to see how we can maybe work together. And then at that point in time, review some projects with you. Here's my information. You can please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Use my phone number, my email. Um, and secondly, I want to also invite you to, I know a lot of people that are on here that are part of Savvy Investor, join our Facebook group. It's a great welcoming forum. Um, and then at the same time, there's a lot of knowledge, education that's part of our group as well. So again, here's my contact information. Reach out, love to set up a time to meet with you. And uh, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. So thanks guys. Appreciate the time, Roland and everybody for participating. Thank you, Michael.